Hello, my name is Ken. I was diagnosed with a retinal disease called central retinal vein occlusion in 2002. Since that time, I've had two intravitreal injections. I'm not a doctor and I have no medical training, so remember to consult your physician without delay when making medical decisions. In two informal, unscientific surveys where participation was anonymous and not restricted in any way, a total of 165 responses were obtained with regard to intravitreal injections of Avastin or Kenalog. These surveys were available through a central retinal vein occlusion website at different times from mid-2004 to early 2008. The surveys focused on patient comfort during and after the injection. They did not gather information on any of the serious medical side effects that can accompany intravitreal injections, which include, but are not limited to, increase in the internal pressure of the eye, rapid formation or progression of cataract, inflammation inside the eye due to infection, detachment of the retina from the wall of the eye, and bleeding inside the eye. When the pain of the intravitreal injection was rated, 25% of the responses indicated no pain, 50% minimal pain, 20% moderate pain, 3% were marked as very painful, and on 2% of the surveys, the question was not answered. So in 75% of the responses, the pain of the intravitreal injection was rated as minimal to none. After the injection, 72% indicated either irritation in the eye or watery eyes. Irritation was defined as a sensation like having a piece of sand in the eye. Watery eyes lasted a matter of hours in 38% of responses, lasted the rest of the day in another 36%, and no survey indicated watery eyes lasting more than a couple of days. 65% reported soreness of the eye. 87% of the responses to a follow-up question indicated that the soreness lasted a couple of days or less. 53% reported a bloody appearing area on the white of the eye after the injection. In a follow-up question, 60% reported that this effect lasted a matter of days, 26% about a week or so, 7% a couple of weeks, and an additional 7% indicated the effect lasted more than a couple of weeks. After the injection, 57% of the responses indicated the medicine was visible from within the injected eye. The frequency of this effect seemed to differ depending on the drug injected, with Avastin being less visible and clearing more rapidly than Kenalog. Complete survey questionnaires, responses, and results are available through this web page.